Hey YouTubers, so it is another Weeping Willow update, but it's not like any other update because I'm taking out a big ass branch on this update. What branch are you thinking? Well, this one to be precise. I'm not happy with it, got too much going on in this corner. I'll be doing a incision about there, and that old branch is coming out. See, it's so pliable this is, so pliable. Ah, corkscrew below. But once I remove that branch, I can bend in like that. See, I've got a lot of give to bend that, and then they can bend over. And doing that, you'll see more of the branch structure if you were to look up, say. So that is, that is part of my vision. That branch is coming out, I'm not happy with it. Never really have been happy with that branch. It wasn't weeping the way I wanted it. I... It's coming out. So while it's still got greenery on, I can sort of see what it's going to look like next spring and there's just too much going on in this corner. And it has to come out. Now, I like to put my hand in a way like, like that, just so I can get an idea of when that branch is removed, I can get an idea of what the tree is going to look like without that branch in sight. And I can work with that. I can work with that quite easily, I think. It's happening. We're doing it. Now, I use my trusty wire cutters very trusty indeed I use them for everything now I think we're going to cut it I don't know if I'm going to get this all in one might be a two part oh she's tough she's tough I got through that bit ah she's off oh that be a big branch oh look at that it's a big one. I can already see the difference that's going to make. Yeah. Now what I'll do with that branch, I'll sort out the end in a minute. And then I'll, we'll get back to that. But i use Wakamayana. Cut paste to you and me. Now, I did have a YouTuber the other day ask, say, that if you put too much on, that it'll block the, the actual tree from healing the tissue from growing over I I don't believe he is correct sorry mate because other people use like putties and they're like proper putty and they're even thicker um, I found with the cut paste after a while it just disintegrates and disappears but I may be wrong if the answer's on the postcard please if I'm wrong but yeah, it's it's all good to know. But I I don't I'd rather um, a good seal instead of a dead branch. Now, basically, if this roots, it's basically got a little bonsai already. There's so much I can do with that. I ain't gonna do anything. I'm just gonna sort out the end and leave the leaves on, leave the branches on, and then put it in darkness. But you are going to want to scrape away at the bottom of this branch to get the, um, oh, what's that word, what's it called? Yeah, you know what I'm on about, that word. The, I'm not even going to pretend I know, I can remember. But that's all you need to do. You just put, put it in water, put it in darkness for seven days. I'll do a update on that in seven days you wait that'd be alright now back to this bad boy so that is the branch we said we were going to bend now I think I'm going to need a three millimetre wire for that bad boy but before you do all that you're going to have to remove all the old wire that you painstakingly spent 
hours putting on not not awfully that long ago but it's a passion of love youtubers and we all know that don't we it's a passion of love when it's you and your bonsai at home bonsaiing it up and before I put my 3mm wire on this I need to remove all the wires from previously because I don't want to overlap and that just won't look as nice now I think we're about there YouTubers now look how much bend that's got that is a lot of bend that's got a lot of give that has I like that I love working with this I love this bonsai. I know, I know, I'm, I'm biased, but it's come so far in two years, in two bloody years, it's, it's got to this stage. It's, it's better than my vision, it's better than my vision. So I did a bit sentimental now. But yeah, there's my, this is my three millimetre wire. I knew this would come in handy. Let's spend, let's spend that. 12 quid? 12 quid, I think. I can't remember. But yeah, I'm, I'm awkwardly wrapping this round the actual branch, as you can see. <clears throat> now, I've got so many wires in the way, it's just, you've got to just take your time. It's not a rush. It's not a race. It's not a race, that's the one. Nice. Now, as I wire, I'm bending at the same time because that'll get the torque up, you know? That, that'll, that'll help with that bend that you want. And it's working. Look, it's working. It's bloody working. I've done it. I'm making it work. I've bloody done it. Well, I can do it. It's working. Now, as you're doing this, you want to make sure you don't Break off the little nodes that are growing because they're going to be lovely little branches and it's just going to look bloody epic come spring. You wait and see. You wait and see. Yeah, this this tree would win awards if I actually was in a bonsai club or something or actually went out to take it places. It probably would win awards. If I do say so myself. But, maybe you can just tell me. Yeah, it looks alright, guy, but um, it ain't got a top. It wears your top. It's it's not one of those ones with tops on. It's, you look up, you look up, up from the bar. Yeah. So, that is that main branch bent into position. But now I've got a rewire all these other side branches because without them doing what I want them to do it ain't gonna work so let's start with this one here now we are nearly in November and this tree is still actively growing um, my little shoots are still shooting out. My roots are still shooting out new roots. So, and what I'm thinking is while I'm wearing this now, will it have enough time to wire it into shape before spring so I can remove the wires just before spring and these branches are hold their shape? And then it'll be a sight for sore eyes. It will be a sight for sore eyes. That's what I'm thinking. Or are we just going to start getting frosts and then that's it. They're just going to have to stay on until it's actively growing and then I remove them before it starts biting in. And yeah, there's a lot of wires to remove, but it's worth it. So because I've got so many new little shoots starting and we are in November and it's still actively growing, 
but there may be frost just around the corner. We don't know. I mean, I live in the UK, for God's sake. The U bloody K. England. Mind you, you wouldn't think it was England anymore. Um, that's another debate. I think we're on the last branch now. So, we'll just wire this down like so. And then it will look pucker. As Jamie Oliver would say, pucker. Izzy Greenfingers is saying it today. Doesn't look too bad, does it? I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Do you think that looks good? I think that looks epic. A few final touches. And I think we're there. I think we're finished with like a bit of quietness just to take it in and look at it and think, hmm, what a bloody good job you've done, Gizzard Green Fingers. I'm going to subscribe. In fact, I'm going to send you five pounds. <laughs> you don't know how to do that. But yeah, let's silence, silence. Just let's take it in. I do hope you've enjoyed watching this, YouTubers. Please don't forget to like. And I'll see you next time. Gizzy Greenfingers. Ta-da. <laughs>